Hello Angels and welcome back to the channel. You may be wondering. Glossy what is this voice I can hear? And if you can't hear it, turn your volume up. Anyway. Hello yes it is I Glossy. And this is my real voice. Hashtag voice reveal. Just to clarify. That was a joke. Fizzy had the idea of using Siri for her videos. So I stole that idea. The only good one she's had. Now back to today's video. As you can see by the title. We will be looking at my avatar. All of my hot outfits from 2016 to 2020. Spoiler alert. It's an emotional roller coaster. Let's get started. Now here was my first ever avatar when Painty Ninja 1013 was born. You could tell from the start she was a style icon. Vogue could never. Just look at that cute outfit. You've never seen that before. And because it was such a look I kept this outfit for quite a while. Not because I didn't know how to actually change the clothes no no no. I have to give this skinny legend a 9 out of 10. There was room for improvement. I just had to work out how to use the catalog first. Next up is this hot looking pixel. She did gain weight after eating the Roblox high school cheeseburgers and the famous Bloxy Cola. But we will look past that. As you can see she finally changed her clothes and dyed her hair pink, which became a reality when I had a mental breakdown in the summer of 2019. Anyway, this avatar didn't last very long, as I would get triggered when seeing someone in-game with the same one, because of course Painty Ninja 1013 was just so quirky and different. 7 out of 10. Swiftly moving on. Ah here was my favorite outfit of 2016. Mostly because I was dumb enough to think I looked like a Roblox admin. Because of course they wore the free items and shirts that said Roblox. And the chill face. Thank you Painty very cool. This avatar reminds me of the good old days. Of Pizza Planet, Speedruns, Mega Fun Obby and Roblox High School Online Dating. But none of the Alex single wolf don't touch tail girls could compare to this beautiful specimen. I give it an 11 out of 10 well done 2016 painty for pretending she worked at Roblox and scaring small children with the threat of banning their accounts from murder mystery too. You're a true hero. Fast forward to the sacred day of the 29th of April 2017. She finally got Robux. Sis was jealous of all the other pixels looking like a snack and wanted to join in. So this gorgeous image of perfection was born. I cannot get over how absolutely stunning this is. That perfect hair that was totally not me trying to be the healthy cow. Also known as Apple Cake 303920453. What an icon. And just look at that fabulous outfit. And the grey supreme hoodie. What a flex. Not to mention that flawless spray tan. Annoying orange who? Painty was a true queen. 20 out of 10 nothing could get better than this. Fast forward 4 months and the trends changed. Not like I followed him anyway I was a true icon of fashion. But I decided to blend in more and this creation happened. She was a true Roblox basic girl now. I mean were you even popular if you didn't have the I'm a spy cap? And that holiday crown. Nothing says I am an emo quirky 12 year old who drinks Bloxy Colas at Club Red more than that. Not to mention the Adidas outfit an absolute classic if I do say so myself. Are the good old days when I first started playing Bloxburg but didn't know how to place an object. Moving on. Let's look at that beautiful face. 1 out of 10. Ah, a year later in the summer of 2018 she finally upgraded her outfit. And clearly her gym membership too. Look at those legs. You can tell she was a fan of weightlifting simulator. 
and played Rebloxian High School on the daily. Those were dark times and I am truly sorry to anyone who knew me back then. Quite clearly something was wrong with me. 3 out of 10 I hope I never have to lay eyes on this ever again. Pass me the holy water. Next is, hang on wait a second. I recognize her from somewhere. Ah yes, the famous poke video. Where she was totally not called a boy. This is where she rose to fame. Also known as a one follower increase on her Roblox account. Not to mention I wore an umbrella as a hat. At least her legs got skinnier. Probably from all the bullying every time she joined a server. L. 5 out of 10. Next. Oh my goodness here is when her career peaked, and she was featured in quite a few classic YouTube videos. Sis thought she was a celebrity. What an icon. As you can see she was a fashionista. This outfit is so fabulous. She was so popular. 10 out of 10. This was just before I quit Roblox for a few months. And then I was never the same. Now it was May of 2019 and she finally returned after a two-month break. Sis realized everyone was now aesthetic and had to look like those aesthetic roleplay channels. So she did. I mean just look at this avatar. Perfect. She was one of those Blarks big players with a pink suburban home eating avocado toast and be eating her roleplay kids. I mean greeting him cutely after their school day at the empty town hall. 9 out of 10 because to be honest I like this outfit. And here we are up to November of 2019 when I posted my first YouTube video that blew up and got me millions of subscriber. And the big legs were back because I thought I was funny. Not to mention I bought this hair because nobody else had it and I thought it would be so cool. I was clearly wrong. I looked like a picnic blanket with the added effect of angry bees swarming me. Very trendy indeed. 7 out of 10. Sorry if I have scared you. This stunning avatar was the start of 2020. And she still could not get rid of those angry bees. And the terrible fashion sense. But Sis just reached 50 subscribers and was living her best life. 9 out of 10 she do be looking cute. Ah here we have my Valentine's Day outfit. Because she needed a pixel boy. And the one way to get it was to dress like a pirate crossed with a Barbie doll. Tie patch. 6 out of 10. Swiftly moving on once again. Here we have the birth of Glossy. So of course she had to buy a whole new avatar for it to pretend the last four years of painty and her bad fashion sense never existed. But she still manages to look like a wannabe. Anyway. And we can't forget those giant Jojo bows on the back of her head. Not to mention the floating polo mint. But at least her hair is cute. 8 out of 10. Here we have my current avatar. Looking like him from the ghetto Ratatata. 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 And stole some Louis Vuitton. But she do be looking cute. I like the, the emo sunglasses. Well done Glossy, very cool. You look like you're about to rob a bank but thanks for the effort. 3 out of 10. So that was my avatar evolution. Comment below your favorite one. And also what you want to see next on the channel. I am clearly out of ideas. Also we're 3 subscribers away from 150. So please subscribe and I will give you free cookies. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao angels.